Hoshisaki KML 631 MAH. We got the noisy water pump on this one. See, look at that. So, we're going to change out this whole water pump assembly. I'll show you how to do this here. We have to get to these screws that are down in here. Here, look at this. This is gonna be fun. Look at that one right there. This thing had some leaks, water leaks, and it scaled it all up. All right, let's get into this. So the first thing I do is take the water, um, the float switch out. There's three screws on it. One, two, three. Get those out. And this one's all black tights. Then we'll work on getting these ones out. Okay, then get your uh, water pump out. There's one thumb screw, that black thumb screw right there. It goes in the front and then the back pulls out after you take your water tube off. But that's the old crusty water pump right there. Then we're going to get that whole plate out of there next. Get the plate removed. Got a little brush. He's trying to stir. Much as you can. Okay, once you got all the scale removed, you can put the plate back in and then uh, screw your float. Take all your screws and float pieces and soak them in ice cream container. You'll get all the scale off and then they'll be ready for reinstallation. There's the kit and all your stuff. New pump and you get that new plate that goes in. This plate right here. So let's, let's do the rebuild. See, they clean up pretty good with the ice machine cleaner. Just soaking them in there. So you get your pump back in, they give you a new piece of tubing that connects, a new thumb screw, and you get your float switch in. And we're gonna hook up the Molex connector. I'll show you where the capacitor goes up here in the rail. And uh, I'll do a little more tidying up. So after you get your pump in, you have to change the capacitor out. And look where they put the capacitor on this, it's fun. So I already got the screw out, and there it is right there in the back. It's got two brown wires on it. And there's our run capacitor. Five microfarad, 250 volt. So let's get that changed out. And for the new guys, if you're gonna take a shortcut and not change the run cap out, you're gonna get burned. It's different. The old cap was 5 microfarads. The new cap is 2.5 microfarads. And that's our new one. Give it a little test run. Here didn't require the wiring harness that came with it. That's for a different style. Just make sure your ground's in on the case. Good to go. Put the date on there for my records. She's all good to go. Change the micro channel on this York package unit. It's 
the one where I had to do the condenser fan motor. Um, I did get the OEM fan motor and fan blade well, since I did the condenser and it still is dancing all over the place. Remember I had to put that Unistrut up there so I had to go back. But yeah, That's how they shipped it. Um, no caps on it. It's pretty disappointing. <laughs> there is a graveyard of these at the supply house. Like a mountain. It is what it is. I'm not too stoked on these. I don't know if I'll be doing two more in the future. Um, you know, I like the Bryant stuff like back there with the regular coils in it. I'm not a big fan of the micro channels for the air conditioning units. Um, you guys know the drill. I didn't video any of it because it was hump time, dude, so I had to hump this puppy, get her done. It's hot in that store. All right, there's the dead condenser in the back of my truck. I just jumping on it and stuff. Wing, wing, like a little rabbit bending it. But look at this. Look how thin the wall is. Who oh, knows if you've ever dissected them? Get you a shot. I mean, that's it. Don't be confused by that inner wall that looks thicker in there. Get a look at this thin piece. That's it. And that's how they're made. And you could look inside there. There's leaking all around there and down there. And maybe I'll take it back. If it's aluminum, maybe I can get a six pack of beer out of that thing.